Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the website for the International Food Policy Research Institute. And they're talking about Africa's informal markets, specifically their food markets, talking about how 70% of city dwellers buy their food at street vendors, or at least buy some of their food at street vendors. In Africa, they have huge value-added taxes as high as 20% that gets taxed on to everything it's sort of like a sales tax because of that a lot of street vendors pop up that don't charge the sales tax um yeah i'm sure some of them do but a lot of them don't and that's one way to keep the price of food lower because people living in cities in africa pay a little bit more for food than those in the rural areas you know because people don't grow their own food if they have to pay that extra one-fifth, that 20% on top of their food costs, it's going to make them go broke. So a lot of people rely on these informal markets. They talk about a study where they try to shut down some informal markets in Brazil because, you know, people would get sick. These informal markets oftentimes don't have access to electricity or clean running water. They thought, you know, maybe it make people safer, but it actually had the opposite effect. The informal vendors in Africa, it's about 72% of non-agriculture related jobs, they wouldn't invest in any food safety equipment because they thought, hey, we're just going to get shut down. Why would I invest in a business that's just going to get shut down? So it actually had the opposite effect. It didn't keep people safe. So this article talks about the importance of keeping these black markets open. This is one of the most efficient ways to get food to the people because it is a free market. These people, well, they might not be legally allowed to sell food, but they're going to do it anyway because people need to buy food and people need to sell food to make a living. So I'm going to link to this article in the, the description. There's a lot of stats in here. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.